Hey, it's Bobby Casada, and welcome to Q's house. And thank you for joining me today uh, on this Military Monday. Today's episode, favorite sport. So everybody has favorite sports. There's maybe hundreds, could be thousands, at least hundreds. We'll go with hundreds. That's the only one I can think of right now that I can say, yes, that's a really good stick. But, you know, I said, you know, through my post, people just said, okay, I want to, I want this sport, that sport. So I'm going to go with pretty much almost the top 10. What I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, about nine. Couldn't see too well, but yeah, I got about nine um, of people that, of sports that people said, hey, talk about this one. What about this one? Cool. So I would put those in there. Um, so one I'll talk about that um, that I played a little bit in high school and in the Army played flag football. So it depends on what base you're at. It could have been like, flag football and you can use your hands <laughs> when you're blocking or or you know you can't be too aggressive because then now it's a penalty and other places well as long as there was no blood no foul there was no penalty <laughs> but yeah there was penalty for interference stuff like that but as for the line eh, it was a little different but i'll get to that kind of story of how bases are <laughs> and how sports are at a different episode so uh so football, football is, is a sport that that I grew up watching and playing, and but I watched college football first. I didn't get a chance to really watch, you know, professional too much because it was on Sundays. Mom made me go to church. Dad said you going with her, <laughs> so there I was. So my brother David, he said, "Hey, you know." watch this check this out so then i started watching notre dame so college football because it was the only thing on really on you know and growing up on the on saturdays you know because they got their contract so even now so go irish <laughs> anyway so college football is something that i love watching there's so many games the passion in football in college is yes completely different because you know you're cheering you're cheering something that that people went to they're, they're connected for different manners and in some areas that's the only sport that that's there in those those states alabama for example there's no professional players you know professional teams in um in alabama but they got a lot of professional players that come out of alabama uh so yeah college football big deal big deal in a lot of places uh, some towns lucky like LA have two two colleges USC uh, and UCLA which which is crazy you pick one or the other some states are divided like Washington Washington has the Huskies and and the, and the Cougars and you go in some stores and throughout the country too you go to some stores you go in and that's what's in the store is just fully stocked with with banners cups shot glasses rugs anything you can you can kind of think of is in there which is crazy it's like wow you feel it you know how much passion these people have for their teams um you know, and then you got the pro the pro is like for the one that sticks out the most is like having the super bowl and then being off Monday morning because it became pretty much a holiday and you're like okay cool this I don't have to come in so what time nine no PT that's how it started sometimes I then then eventually it was like we didn't have to come in until till lunch it was like what come in after lunch and then that's it just go to work for a couple hours but trying to watch the Super Bowl was cool and, and fun, everybody said, oh, we're going to have it. Who's going to have it? So everybody, it was like a, another celebration, another thing to get together, the party and grill like we would do most of the time. But the only time I remember it sucked was trying to watch it overseas because they wouldn't show the commercials. And that's that's like the that's the crazy part. And that's what people talk about 
as well, you know, besides just the game, they talk about like, did you see the the M M&M commercial? Did you see the fucking the the Budweiser Clydesdales and the Budweiser frogs? And you know, later on, they're like, you couldn't talk about it when you were watching when you watch it overseas because they would show the commercial. You watch some something about you know Abraham Lincoln or what an article 15 means <laughs> you're like ah really so yeah so pro football that 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 thing is 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 really cool as like the games get everywhere especially once you know the playoffs kick off and every starts get into it the the draft the, the fantasy football draft um being able to go, go to the camps and watch it is cool as well. Um, and you guys out there ever seen the CFL? You know, we, we had some players that couldn't make it here. And they went up there and dominated and then came back here and, you know, made a nest for itself. You, you know, like Warren Moon. You got uh, Doug Flutie, the Rocket. <laughs> the Rocket uh, Rashawn Salam. Nope, wrong guy. That is a different guy. <laughs> the Rocket Ismail. Uh, I don't know her name. Uh, that's pretty much why I watch Notre Dame. That dude, punt returns, kick returns. Uh, crazy little dude. Who remembers Euro football? When the NFL was in Europe, I went to one game and I went to go watch the the Frankfurt Galaxy, it was crazy. It felt, you know, it was a football game. Had, had, um, uh, you know, it was like, like a beer garden everywhere. I, I actually ate with a drink and actually a big old liter of beer came in. They couldn't give you a little glass. So it was a big ass glass of beer that we were drinking inside. Uh, it was it was crazy. Every time they scored a touchdown, it, it just seemed like, you know, I was at a soccer game. You know, it was crazy. And then, and then I was like, all right, well, this is different. And it was, man. It was completely different. And unfortunately, they don't have the, none of those teams no more. It was cool because it was the they were able to develop a lot of players. So if you're like the third, fourth string, you went to go play over there got better and maybe you would have made the first or second string uh, so so that's just something that that was cool to have but the commissioner now doesn't he doesn't like it he's been saying that for a while he he rather have the professional teams go play over there I guess it's different money whatever it is it was a it was a really good experience um, I went with uh I went with my boy Koba I was like Man, really, this is cool. And then the the train was free to get on because it was going to the game. So it was cool to get drunk because you didn't have to worry about driving. Um, but it was it a was, um, really good experience. So since I'm on the, a world topic, I'll go to basketball. Basketball is worldwide. Many people play it. Uh, the NBA itself has a lot of players from around the world some of those guys have been been stars on on nba teams they were stars in their leagues they were stars since they were young um so it's it's a it's a it's a global sport it's a sport that many people watch uh, many people grew up watching it from all over uh, and you you got you got, you know, now you watching the last dance. How many of you been watching the last dance? I only got to episode four. Um, got a little busy. I haven't got a chance to watch it. So I'll, I'll get on my Cody and watch the rest of it later on. But that's, that's a big deal. You know, the, when, you know, speak about global was like when we had the Olympic team, we had the dream team. You talk about a stacked team of professional players. You had other players coming in there before, but not that team. Not like that team. 
Talk about Jordan, Magic, Bird. You know, the Admiral was there too. So there was a lot of players. There was a lot of players that that were Hall of Famers or, you know, they were going to be few Hall of Famers. They're Hall of Famers now. But it was it's crazy how how they just dominated and everywhere they went people just followed and that blew up basketball that blew up the nba to say hey look you know i want to be like that i want to play so more people were playing so the exposure the marketing that that went along with it and people finally said oh look i can i can finally be around mj it it was crazy it's it's and like now you that now the game isn't as as violent <laughs> as it was before for many of you that have been watching it that can finally actually say okay it was like that or like some of us had actually experienced because we're old enough to see it it's it's not the same that 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 style of of playing is different uh even when we used to play it was growing up it was like no blood no foul remember the other day we used to play at the beach like that no blood no foul on a half court playing in chucks a white t-shirt and some five or once. But it's 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 different. But that game, that game is still entertaining. It's something you, you want to see. College basketball. College basketball is, is one of my favorite ones to watch because of rivals. My all-time favorite, and I want to say this is probably the one of the biggest rivals. Is Duke in North Carolina? They play like about twice a year, and every time it comes on, I try to watch it. I'll try to mark on my calendar, but if I forget, I'll be mad. I'm like, ah, I missed the game. Those two teams go all out. It doesn't matter who's ranked. It doesn't matter what's going on, whose house it's in. It's always a game to watch. It's announced that way. It's it just it is. They're both on Tobacco Road. they they just dominate. Wake Forest, sorry. You guys on the same area, but still you don't show up. <laughs> the same way those two go at it. No other no other rival that I can, that I can think of goes to that. It sticks. It's been there for decades. So and I love watching it. I love watching it since I want to say since like the mid nineties, I, I got into it. Uh, and I definitely got into it once I was stationed at Bragg in North Carolina. And it was like, dude, these guys really, you know, go at it. They're, 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 like, they're like, fuck you. I'm going to win. <laughs> you know, they, they had psycho T that dude got punched bloody and was still out there. But it, it was, it's, those things are hyped up from, because of the players, because of the rivalry, the passion, you know, those are fanatics. That's, that's what, that's what sports is mostly about. You know, like, what do you, what do you have a passion for? Whether you're watching it, playing it, or, or, you know, somehow being connected to it, you know, sports is a great thing. So. Another global sport. I was told, what about soccer? But see, football. Football has been, has been the, I, to me, it is it is the global sport. It is the main one because, come on, that world title is really a world title. The World Cup is is a, 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 a really big time thing majority yeah not not in the u.s as much you know unless you 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 have a background you know you're descended from some other country or you just have a passion for the sport but in other countries they love it be being there playing on some worn out ball on the dirt on a slope hill you gotta run up to to make a goal or run down to make a goal rocks all over the thing no shoes they love that thing it, it, it's it's great I didn't like playing it every time I went to Mexico let's play I was like ah and then you push them over and then they start crying ah you push me will you bump me first so it's not my sport I'm a little more, more violent than that so it it was not my sport <laughs> but 
the the soccer you know it's 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 got a championship it's got the leagues you know it's in the olympics as well but that one that one doesn't stand out as much you know mexico won won gold a while ago but it's not a, it doesn't stand out it doesn't it doesn't doesn't stick the same way the world cup does the world cup it it you got stars on your jerseys for how many championships you know it's it's a big deal that's why i want to talk about germany and france and italy and england because those guys have dominated brazil look at all the players that come from brazil all those guys with just one name because that's all you need when you're that good you need one name <laughs> but but soccer soccer's a soccer is a game that that yeah it's it's a world game and for us there's not much excitement besides when they score it's like a couple dunks here and there to 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 other players or it's like oh yeah they scored a couple of touchdowns but sometimes they'll feel like oh man, there was way too many field goals it was boring too much defense it's not meant to be a, a 15 to 20 game you know it's it's the it's a technical movement of the ball. This is a technical uh, strategy of swapping out players. It's 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 a lot to it. So it's it's a it's a game that 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 people love because you can just grab a ball, go out there, go back and forth, you know, work as a team, do a scissor kick, score the score that winning goal, run around slide cheer throw throw your shirt up in the air as your fans have these torches and smoke and pyro as they're jumping up and down going crazy spinning beer in each other that's that soccer that's that's the passion that those dudes love uh how can you not be that look how crazy it was for this last world cup he went over there went to russia he was like russia all right well let's see how how weird it gets over there it was crazy. It was crazy that you know you got all these people, especially the Russians, over singing Mexican songs as the Mexicans took out uh, uh, Germany. You know there wasn't that much ole ole, but man, there was like there was a lot of ay 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 ay, and they even ran out of liquor in certain areas because we drink a lot. So so it was it was. It's a world game. People travel from all over to do stuff, to be there. Because there's a lot of passion in that one. Because it's a world game, like I said. Another world sport. Uh, baseball. Everybody loves baseball. There's, well, I can't say everybody. Majority of the world loves baseball. Majority of the world plays it. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's America's pastime. And right now it's pastime or or spring break or spring uh, uh, spring league and, and and spring baseball, but it'll come around. But baseball baseball is a um, a sport that you know I enjoy watching. Majority of the time, I only like watching during like the playoffs. Uh, during the season, I'll, I try to go to to a couple games. But it's it's um it's it's a fun game. My 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 favorite time to watch it is is always the All Star game. Um, All Star weekend is is really, you know, the the spectacle of that whatever town is 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 um is hosting it. From the softball celebrity game to the home run derby. Come on. A home run derby. You're like, oh, just hit the ball. You you don't think it'd be a pack for you people who don't really watch baseball. But especially this last time, the whole stadium was full just to watch, what, like 10 to 15 guys hit a home run. And you're like, oh, it's just a home run. It's like, no, because these guys are hitting it far. It's not 300 feet no more. It's not 320 and 3-something, three like old little Wrigley Stadium. 
Well, because it was windy, so that's why you didn't have to go that far. But they're hitting like four something. It's like they smack the shit out the ball. It hits the sign. It it goes over the stadium. It's crazy. It's like, man. And surprise, the bats don't break more often. Maybe because they're not corked. But, man. It's like, dude, how many times can you swing? And yeah, some of these guys get they, they get tired out. It's like they'll hit and hit and hit. I was like, all right, that dude just hit forty. He's not gonna make it to he's not gonna make another forty the next time. He gets tired trying to swing that ball and hit the end or swing that bat and hit the ball. It's crazy. I was like, What? And I was like watching, I was like, Man, all those people I, man, I feel left out. I wanted to be there. <laughs> And so this year, this year, um, the Dodgers are hosting it. So all you guys in, you know, when it kicks off, all you guys trying to make it to L.A. and enjoy the sun. Um, enjoy. Um, how would I say it? Enjoy um, a franchise is with the tradition as, as the Dodgers. So, hey, go down there with, with you, hate it or not, but your team should be there. Go to your team. Don't worry about anybody else. <laughs> it's all about your team. Um, I got one for for cycling and mountain bike. Cycling, the, the, the Tour de France. That's the first thing that pops in my head. I never got a chance to watch it when I was in, in, in Germany. But I... I you know, um, watching Lance Armstrong and who's going to have the yellow T-shirt. You know, which that's the leader. That's the one that's winning the the, the pretty much the tournament or the the yeah the tournament is because you you it's like more than one day and they're just over and over going through these hills and trying not to run into each other because eh, when there's a group. And one dude wipes out, it's a mess. <laughs> People fall into each other. The little carts where the cameras are in the way. There's carts with, there's little cars with, with car with uh, other bike parts on it or other bikes and everything else, all trying to go back and forth through the hills up and down. I was like, that's that's why they're skinny. Those are little, those are little skinny dudes just on the bike trying to go, and their little tight outfits up and down hills. That's 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 a lot of exercise. That's a lot of running. I couldn't do that. <laughs> the only bike I like to ride is just at the stationary bike, watching Sports Center, at the gym. <laughs> but but then then you got mountain bike. Mountain bike uh, is dangerous. You talk about trying to go down a hill. You know, make sure you don't hit a bump hit too high your tire falls off you wipe out and you start going down the hill oh no but yeah that that that's to me that's an extreme sport you know that's that's one of those those uh that's that's a whole different thing that's one of those x games things because it's like man they're just flying down the hill trying to get through i like oh man and 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 those bikes are expensive. Even the cycling ones, they're expensive. Because they're, they got some great engineering to make sure it handles everything they're getting put through. You know, and, you know, you got, you got that, the cycling is also involved in the Ironman. Ironman competition is, 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 is like, is a wow to me. It's like, you go to swim, ride the bike, and, and run this course and um, the beautiful ones are in, in you know watching that is is watching it in, in in Hawaii when they're doing all that in Hawaii even the mountain biking thing you know you're going through all those trails and you're like wow you're here in this paradise doing this this competition how do you not get distracted as you're as you're doing whatever but that's an athlete be focused do the shit you gotta do don't worry about nothing else but Man, that's a that's a tough that's a tough sport, you know. And that's that's a you want cardio? There you go. You guys want to lose some weight? Go ride a bike. 
<laughs> Gobin <Gobernante> Nande <Hoof. laughs> Um uh one one sport that uh that man I, I I'm I miss watching and I've been watching for a long time is boxing. Boxing I'll take you guys back since we went to Iron Man. Hey, Iron Mike Tyson. That's how far back uh, I'll take you back with that one. This dude People were paying pay-per-view fights. He was knocking out people over and over and over. It had a point where they said, don't leave. You're going to leave. You're going to miss the fight. <laughs> sure enough. He's like, oh, I got to go. I got to go. Come back. What happened? We're like, ah, oh, he got knocked out. What? I went to the bathroom. We're like, oh, he told you not to leave. <laughs> Dude's getting knocked out within the 30 seconds. And they would tell you that. Don't leave. They started commentating too. The commentator was like, hey, make sure you hold it. Because if you leave right now, you might miss the fight. <laughs> sure enough, man. That that dude was knocking out people. He's 50. He's over 50 right now. And he's still fast. That dude is some crazy specimen. <laughs> oh, and crazy too. You can go the other way too. Is he bit off? Holy feels ear. <laughs> so they were fight again. I think they're saying that he might bite off the other one. So that might be the comeback. But you know, one one thing I, I knock on on unboxing is that there's too many belts for so many different categories. You know, all you need is uh, just the three IBO. Um, what is it? Um, WBO and the other ones. So there's three. Once you get those three, and then you become, you know, uh, you have the 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 ring belt, you know, and then you look like Rocky with the red, white, and blue belt. You know, so that's all you need. Some of these other ones that show up from all over the place. I'm like, ah, okay, you don't need that many. Just the three dominant ones, and that's it. You know, and and be put on a good card. Yeah, if you're playing, if you're playing, I'm sorry, if you're you're. Cause you're not really played. <laughs> it's a serious game. <laughs> if you're if you're if you're fighting a different uh, league, yeah, they come. Up, but you st still get regulated, so it's still gonna you're still gonna get ranked in somebody else's category. So it's just stay in the same thing. But there's but I'm not saying there's not enough fights. <laughs> there's too many fights, you know. Hey, hey, you need to just keep going. You know, you know, you you can you gotta filter them out. That's all they're really doing. So just oh man, they got like right now um, we had um, what well, we have. I think pretty much every every fighter was fighting for like once once a year here and there. But then you pick up some many. They started doing it where it's like two two fights a year. Um, back in the day, some were doing like three, four. So I, that's why you guys see Cesar Chavez with his hundred something fights. You know, it's, that's imagine a hundred something fights. That's crazy. <laughs> uh, and so, so it's like now you know you got, you got many boxers are in their in in the, their forty fights and fifties and sixty fights. So and so it's like you know you get to watch them twice. Um, I think some of them are, are are pushing it to make it to like thirty something years old, which is which is great because we get to see some good fights. But then some other ones, it's like, dude, you could have still been doing it. Oh, wow. But you know, but that's one 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 that sticks out when it comes to boxing to me is like my my Puerto Rican brothers. Man, these guys know that sport. I thought Mexicans knew it. So every time I hang out with the family, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And everybody gets into it. No, man. I, I thought I was around a bunch of trainers and <laughs> managers. When when they talk, I'm like, man, these guys really know the sport. This is, I'll just listen to them. Their commentators way better than the ones who were talking. <laughs> so, like, uh, I gave it to, to uh, Jose Velasquez. Sorry, V. That dude, I remember watching... Uh, a Mayweather card that had Canelo under it. 
And he, and I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he started talking. I was like, what? I'm like, man, I'm going to start watching boxing with V all the time. <laughs> but yeah, everywhere I've gone, you know, to that hearing, hearing fanatics talk about sports that way. It's cool. It's, it's like, it's, it's about the sport. You gotta, there's a, there's a, there's a way the sports gotta be done. And, and, you know, when you write like that, but if, you know, if you're just always complaining, like, oh no, he did this. Like, no, no, that's not what happened. <laughs> you just want your guy to win. No, no. You want to see the sport. You want to see everything done correctly. And yeah, like I said, I gotta give it to my Puerto Rican brothers. Oh man. That was, I love watching bo uh, boxing with you guys. Another violent sport, one of the most violent sports, <laughs> MMA, mixed martial arts, uh, Horse Gracie, that dude, the Gracie family, um, bring bringing um, jujitsu to to that level of sport. Um, yeah, it's it's crazy that that a family like that has has really influenced the the sport cuz it's not it's not one thing it's it's a, it's mixed it's mixed martial arts it has all these different aspects of fighting put into one and as in football any given any given sunday something can happen on this any given fight something can happen you can't guarantee who's going to win sometimes it's Especially when it comes to the heavyweights. When it comes to the heavyweights, just watch it last Saturday. Because it's been on three times in a week, which is crazy. Even though there's no fans, which is kind of weird at the end when there's a decision and you don't hear a boo or you hear a cheering. So I always laugh at that part. But the two heavyweights, it was over in 20 seconds. They replayed the whole fight as a highlight. Anyone could have knocked the other one out. It's like you don't know. It can happen, but it can happen in all of them like that. You 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 talk about Ronda Rousey. They're supposed to be running over people. Once Holly Holm like kicked the shit out of her, that was it. She's never been the same because her bell got rung really good. But she was arm barring everybody and you know making hamburger meat out of people's faces. But she, but it's different. That sport. You don't know who's going to win. Slip on somebody else's blood that's on the floor. And you might lose. Decide a punch. As you extend, your arm might get taken. It, back in the day, you know, they used to break people's arms because of the arm bar went too far. You know, it was, they, you know, Horse Gracie was in, in, his, in his, I don't know the name of it you guys chime in and tell me or just send a comment you know he was in his he was in his martial arts outfit fighting people he was like okay grab me. you grab me i'm gonna hurt you how does this dude win that people were able to just freely grab him because he was a master at his craft you know and then once it started to blow up and you have everybody show up you got you know black belts in this black belts in bar fights and backyard brawls people were people just came out of everywhere like yeah I can fight I can fuck you up I can get in there cool let's watch you and that's what we did because we have that barbaric human nature you know gladiator style and Roman style you know and Aztec basketball where the losing team lost our life. <laughs> it's, it's been molded into a lot of us to watch this these violent sports because, yeah, human nature. We've been molded. Many wars. <laughs> but that 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 sport is crazy. It's everywhere. It's even in casinos. Like here in San Diego, you can go to little casinos and, they, and there's fights. They're, they have... MMA uh, fights there in their in their belts and stuff like that because of different categories. You can go to Tijuana and you can watch it over there. You even have one dude from Tijuana that showed up uh, on um, probably about four seasons ago 
on the con on the USC contender. But you know they they got stuff all the time. Uh, so that sport is everywhere too. It, it's not played on a global level, but it has a, a lot of people from all over the place fighting. So you know, get us Dana, Dana White. Yeah, he has he he has you know three cards come out in three main cards come out in in a week. You know, and and some people were saying, "Hey, who's gonna come out? Who's gonna do this?" No, those are like, "Fuck yeah, I want to play." You know, I want to well, fight, not play. <laughs> you don't play in that way. Yeah, I want to fight. I want to feed my family. So people are coming out. You know, so it's. I was I showed my I showed my wife, you know, the whole Overeem, uh, little highlight they were doing and. How he was doing this for like twenty years, and and how he dominated, and how he's gonna, you know, went down, came back up, and how his face was hamburger meat, and she was like, "Ugh, his lip was falling off, off, his lip was falling off." I couldn't even say the word. <laughs> his lip was falling off, and and I was like, "Man," and then to come back, you know, this dude, dominant dude, he's one of the first heavyweights I used to watch. But that that sport MMA, great sport to watch. Uh, when I want to have a sports bar, I said no. I gotta have two, two sides, two big screens because if I'm gonna have a sports bar and I want people to come in, sometimes boxing and USC is on at the same time, or even Bellator or any of the other ones. Well, not not both of them always watch each other, and some people want to watch whatever. So I look cool. Hey, if I ever have a, a sports bar, I want to have two. That way people, hey, there you go. You pick what side you want to hang on. <laughs> or something else is on. You know. So I recommend that. You put on more one, more than one screen. One than one big screen. Because we don't want to want to watch our favorite thing on the little screen. <laughs> Volleyball. Volleyball is is a sport that I didn't grow up playing too much. Yeah, with the PE. That shit don't count. Um. Uh, but it's a sport that I picked up playing um, in the Army. You know, as you always had organizational day. But playing, I played in Bosnia when I was th when we were there for, for like four months. And I'd ride the, ride the bike for like 30 minutes. And I'd go play for three to four hours. And, and I really got into it. It became my favorite sport. Um, that sport is, is one that I've, I've enjoyed playing. Can't play now. Too many ankle surgeries, you know, always worried about my ankle going to twist and all that. So, I. but my daughters, they, they picked it up. I, I try to help them with it. My youngest daughter right now, she's, she's playing that. Uh, and, and so, so it's. It's a sport that that uh, that I I enjoyed playing. It was fun playing, uh, you know, indoors or outdoors or even on the sand, playing beach rules. That that sport rules have changed as well, and, and that's that's a fun game. It's it's like, you know, pretty much anybody can spike. You don't have to be some seven footer like in basketball, but in volleyball, trying to. You know, you can spike from from the from the from the tip foot line. You know, it's it's it doesn't matter. You you just hit the ball correctly a certain way. Hit the ball and hit the top of the ball at a certain angle. It's gonna go. You just gotta understand how to hit it and, and try try not to have Spalding get tattooed to your forehead. Is another one. You gotta get used to the sting of the ball. You know, blocking somebody. Especially blocking somebody one-handed, it's always a fun thing. It's it's uh, you know it's also an, another Olympic sport, you know. And then beach volleyball, two people running back and forth on the sand, that's that's tiring <laughs> if you get used to running in sand. But it's uh, one one story I tell you with with volleyball. Um, my my oldest daughter Selena, she was playing 
in, in, in middle school. And I was kind of showing her how to play and stuff like that. And she was playing in the game. And she just, she was, she was pretty much in the middle. And she's going back and forth, back and forth. Her team members were just kind of standing there. So I get why she was moving back and forth. And then I was at the stairs like, hey, stay in your spot. And like everybody stopped. And then they start playing. <laughs> and then later on, she tells me to get home. He goes, man, my the assistant coach was like, man, there's some rude fans. She's like, that's my dad. The assistant coach was like, oh. <laughs> so I'm one of those. I'm one of those dads in the stands. <laughs> but hey, volleyball, it, it's my favorite sport. I wish I can play it, you know, but I can't. Body's worn out like many of us. Um, or some of you, you guys are lucky. <laughs> but but now, because of that, I picked up my new my new sport, my new favorite sport to play for a whole bunch of reasons. Golf. Golf is a sport that I used to watch on TV. Um, I watched a little bit before Tiger started playing. And, and, uh, and I, I, I vaguely remember him kind of starting, but of course every started watching cause it was always on. Then it's, it's like, it was announced more. Once he once he came on, and 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 that dude dominated even to like now he's eighty two, right? No, he's throwing eighty one. We for eighty two, right? He's tied with Sam Snead. <laughs> so this dude, this dude dominated. But for me, it's like my friends were like, "Hey, let's go play. Let's go play." Freddie was like, "Dude, you want to go play?" I'm like. And I don't know how to play, you know, I, I don't got, how much is it? You know, and on base, I think it was like 40 bucks or whatever. I'm like, I, I might go play something. I don't even know how to play. And I ain't got any clubs. <laughs> so I, so I never felt comfortable playing. And then I started, I started going to school and then eventually I was like, oh, well, I'll take this free class. And I'm like, cool, I'll do that. And sure enough, after I took the class man, I got hooked. You know, I like like my neighbor said, you get the bug. So cool. So I did that, and then, and now I I've been playing for about a year because I started last April, or well, over a year, and and I played like thirty five times. I played in different courses from nine to to eighteen holes, and it's therapeutic. I I I along I also started because I wanted to do, um, like associate with business because say if you do business you know golf is a good thing to do because clients those kind of people those clients are actually doing um you know they have money so and the financial thing i'm trying to do they said hey look this is what you want to do pick up from this dude grant cardone um, you know he's like a real estate mongol you know motivational speaker and stuff like that this dude has over 500 million dollars that's quite why well, I said, okay, cool, I relate to it. But once I started playing, I wasn't thinking of that no more. I was like, man, this thing, it's it's therapeutic. It helps me with my PTSD. When I got there, I don't, you know, I don't really think too much about, you know, what I was just going through. I just think about playing. And then I, you know, I don't get as frustrated. Sometimes I hit the ball, I'm like, ha, ah, well, that fucked up. <laughs> but it's, it's I enjoy it. it. It's it's fun. It's therapeutic. Uh, I definitely like trying to do it on Mondays. If I do on Mondays, and the rest of my week is is great. That's how I start off my week. I'm like, oh, I had a good game and this and that, and and it's it's fun. It's it's a it's a sport. It's even an Olympic sport. Um, it's 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 a, a sport that that you. The Americans play against the Europeans, so there's always competition. Different people from all over play, and going back to college, there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, players from other countries that play in in many other universities. Like like Arkansas has had a lot of players from Mexico play there, uh, Texas, 
Stanford. There's a lot of you know, uh, San Diego State and USD have have um, Japanese, Chinese, and and British uh, players there. I think even the Switzerland is on there. So there's players from all over, and they come and, and they're just playing. It's it's a it's a it's a great game. I I I love that game. I just played this weekend. You know, come on. I've been looking forward for a game to play this uh, well a round. It's a round of golf. I I've been looking forward to play a round of golf in ninety five degree weather for like five hours. How many people are gonna say they want to play in ninety five degree weather? Cause it's I enjoy it. It's it's a it's a fun game. You know, whatever the score is. Yeah, I get upset that I'm well, I don't get upset. You know, I'm like, ah, oh well, I'll get in later. Cause I'm gonna make it. You know, that's just how my thought process is when whatever I do. I'm gonna make it, I'll get a better score later on. But I just started. I ain't there yet, but I'll get there. I still I'm about to be forty six. By the time I'm fifty, I'll be okay to play with the with the viejitos on the championship league. And um my last point on golf is is the um, the VGA. It's the Veteran Golf Association. So many of you that that do do play, many of you veterans that play, or or family members of, of veterans, you want to be part of some amateur uh, league that you can actually compete against other people in your flight and in your index and in your handicap. The the Veteran Golf Association what what is what I've been able to 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 register and play and and, and meet a bun- bunch of veterans that 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 has made it really cool I've met a lot of great people uh my golf battle buddy Juan that dude Juan Lovato that dude you know that dude has had it, has made it really fun for me to hang out and do shit and like who's this and come on I got like a mentor coach and friend and Everything else that we're doing stuff. That's what you get when you do like veteran stuff. You want to be around other people that are like you. So, you know, the Veteran Golf Association, I I recommend you guys look into it. Um, I'll post the link. So if you guys are interested in joining or finding more information about it, uh, it's, it's, um, it's really cool. There's a lot of stuff to it. You can hang out, reminisce, do whatever it's 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 fun so hey some honorable mentions in there that i'm not really going to get to it but you got tennis uh fishing some of you bass masters <laughs> fishing is out there uh it's you know and in one sport you know one sport that i always throw out there just because that's how much i love sports uh, me and uh, me and Peterson, <laughs> we were watching, we were watching the Olympics. We we got into uh, ice curling. We don't know what ice curling is. It's a it's a stone, a flat stone with a little handle. They're playing their one of sports, and it's like this big old ice, like the ice ring, and they just toss this this <laughs> they toss this stone on the ice and two two people on the other side with like brooms trying to slow it down to speed it up and trying to make it in the bullseye ice curling when you watch ice curling that means you watch a lot of sports or you just get really bored and there's nothing else on tv just like espn was showing the cornhole championship cornhole something you were tailgating <laughs> but all right Thank you. I appreciate you guys uh, tuning in. Uh, I said my uh, my intro uh, yesterday on my previous uh, episode. Um, I'm trying to work the bugs and trying to get this easier to to interact a lot a lot better with everybody else. Um, trying to learn this app. Uh, this app Anchor is what I'm using because it was easier to create and put everything through, so I don't have to, you know, have a whole set, you know, my whole studio. So I'm using this. Um, this is like the third microphone I'm trying to use. Um, I appreciate your time. I appreciate you support. 
uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, Military Mondays. Every Monday I'm going to put one out. I got some some episodes uh, coming up. Um, there's um, there's the Dream Sports Job, Army Navy game, tailgating. Uh, I'll get more into golf for veterans and uh, first professional sporting event. Yeah. So any of those uh, or any other topics, but any of those, uh, give me your give me your comments uh, for your next one. For the next one, I, I want to talk about um, dream sports job. Let me know what is your dream sports job. What if you can play? If you can be in any any sport, any what would what would be any sports injury? What would be your your dream job? You know, let me know. Comment. Um, let let me know whatever you can do. Uh, would would you want to do? You know, or whatever, man. Just just that's the topic. The topic. Dream sports job. All right, thank you, Bobby Casada. Q out. Q stops. Q stops. Q stops.